Hello, gamers! Welcome to my gamer den! Look, look, I'm decorating! It looks so good! Welcome to the gamer zone! Buckle up, boys! I think today, I think as we go, we're gonna start doing surprise trades just throughout the episodes. Because they take a while to get one sent back to you. And we're gonna check our lottery for the day. Do I win any more milk? No, I don't. We're gonna start off the episode by scouring the town for items and trades and secrets and trinkets and biscuits. Wait, here we go. Have you heard the rumor? I have heard the rumor. You have? I really don't care or anything, okay? I have not heard the rumor. Tell me the rumor. There's a rumor that if you give the one you like an applin, you'll be together forever. Actually, the truth is, there's someone I like. She's gonna move overseas pretty soon. I've been searching for an applin so I can get my feelings across the right way, but I can't find one. Oh, fuck. Wait, no, is this how you evolve? You guys were telling me some specific method of evolving the Apple Pokemon. I have an Applin, right? I always forget what they're actually called because I give them stupid names. I think this guy gives it back. Someone commented that you've got to give it away and then he gives it back and then you've got to use an Apple or something like that. Let's see what happens here. Oh, okay. This is some sort of... This is why we got to browse the town and, you know, check everything out. How's your packing going? Pretty much everything's been packed. Since I'm moving away tomorrow... Yeah. Hey, check out this Pokemon. Oh, an Applin? Amazing! Did you catch it? Yes! <laughs> no, okay, no, he's telling the truth. Someone gave it to me. I'm sorry, I really wanted to give you an Applin that I caught on my own, but, well, uh, forget it. I can't give you this Applin. You're right, I can't take it. So, what in the sweet lord was that about? What? Are they getting married? <laughs> What's happening? Can I not? I think maybe I can't pick up on social cues. All right, this guy's giving the Applin back. I think he got in there, boys. And he's giving me a reward, a tart apple. Okay, so this is the item that we use to evolve it. A peculiar apple that can make a certain species of Pokemon evolve. Okay, when's the best time to evolve our Puff Puff though is the question. Am I supposed to leave it as a young baby apple worm for a while longer so it gets some more moves. Ah, well, let's just chuck it straight on it. Here we go. Tart apple. Straight on Puff Puff. I don't know why you guys thought you needed to tell me that. I was obviously going to run into that guy at some point. I like to talk to everyone. Just like that, he evolves. Okay. This is sweet. Okay. Okay. The apple opened up and the worm is still using it. And now he's using the apple to fly. That is cool. I like that a lot. That is creative. Flapple. It's Flapplejack. Flapple's data will be out of the Pokedex. The Apple Wing Pokemon. It ate a sour apple and that induced its evolution. In its cheeks, it stores an acid capable of causing chemical burns. It's quite fitting that it it's in the Galar region based on the UK then. There's a lot of acid attacks in the UK, isn't there? I really like that. I don't know why you guys, some of you were trying to get rid of Applin. Let's try to use our medium candies. Let's use some on Puff Puff. 3000 XP? Jesus Christ. Dragon Pulse? Yeah, I'm definitely keeping this boy. That is a lot of experience. I really like that they introduced that so you don't have to use rare candies, but you can just use these XP bricks for earlier on in the game. I think we should use the XP on Tyrone as well. We can kind of use this to level out all the Pokemon. Oh! Okay, no, he is evolving. Level 30, he evolves. Two evolutions back to back. Shit, now I can't clickbait them. Both. <laughs> For titles and thumbnails. Oh well. I'll make one of them, I guess, maybe. What? Was he playing the guitar on his tits? He's got like jubbly strings on his belly. Your Tyrone evolved into Toxtrici Toxtricity. I surprisingly have not seen these Pokemon yet and I did not get them in the Pokemon Sword cards that I opened. Toxtricity's data will be added to the Pokedex. Okay, the amped form, punk Pokemon. So it is like a punk rocker with a guitar. Stomach. When the- wait, amped form? Does that mean he has another form? When this Pokemon sounds as if it's strumming a guitar, it's actually clawing at the protrusions on its chest to generate electricity. That is disgusting. I'm putting you straight in the box. Okay, finally, he's no longer a baby. He can learn some good moves. We're actually moving up with all our team now. We've got rid of Borg. We can learn Spark. Get rid of Growl. There we go. Whoops, I just used- Another XP thing. Level 31. Damn, it's a good day to be a Pokemon trainer. That is so awesome. I wonder what a shiny Applin and Flapple look like. 
All right, let's see what's going on down here. There's an old man admiring the sewer pipe. Someone's let him out of the home, and he's gonna teach us a battle combo move. Which Pokemon should learn the move? Let's check him out. Wait, what? No one is eligible except Craig? Uh, okay. Water Pledge. A column of water hits the target. When used with its fire equivalent, its power increases and a rainbow appears. Right, so some sort of epic combo when you're playing doubles. Well, we can just get rid of Water Gun anyway, because it sucks. I don't know if we're ever going to be able to use that combo. But um, maybe if Hop isn't too much of a moron, when we tag battle with Hop, we can pull it off. I don't know. So much happening. There's so much happening. Can't you see we're practicing our chance here? You're not passing. You're not passing. No, I'm not passing. My name is Max. So that's the edge of the map for now. Let's go do some more exploring. Exploring pays off, boys. I can't wait to find a new Pokemon to replace that wheezing. The coughing. I don't think I want to keep the coughing. Even though I really do like the wheezing with the two big hats. Let's teach someone Will-O-Wisp. Gary Coleman, does he have any moves that we can get rid of? for a guaranteed burn. I think we should get rid of Rock Blast just for fun. I like to keep things moving, you know, changing up the game, make the episodes more interesting. All right, I think there's no reason for us not to use all these XP candies. So let's level out the boys with them. I think we're gonna get rid of Nicholas. I think you guys hate Nicholas. People are still voting to euthanize the dog. So I'm not gonna level him. Sorry, I feel so sad because I have a thumbnail and video dedicated to getting Nicholas when he was just a baby little fox. And now he's all grown up. You guys want to give him to the vet? You want to take him to the pound? Sorry, Nicholas. Wait, what? Oh shit, it'll just randomly alert you. Or did I press the right button? All right, let's see what we're going to get this time, boys. This will, oh, a dino. Dino, dino? I can't tell. I don't speak Japanese. Or is that Chinese? Rice gum is a Chinese spy. Dino, when it encounters something, its first urge is usually to bite it. If it likes what it tastes, it will commit the associated scent to memory. Cool. All right, let's use our XP extra small candies. How much is one? Okay, one gives 100. Let's give all 25 to Puff Puff. Almost get him a level. Let's give another five of the small candies to Puff Puff. Get him two levels. He's now 31. He's equal with Coleman and Tyrone. All right, that's good for now, I reckon. What does this guy do again? Remember a move. Wait, can you do remember a move for a baby po- uh, Something that was a baby Pokemon? Does he have any moves that he's missed out on? Oh, he totally does. There's heaps. Ass- What? Okay, there's a ton. Veno shock. Okay, there's some crazy shit in here. This move's power is doubled if the target is already poisoned. Okay, this is sick. Yes, we can get rid of all this garbage. Flail, you're gone. We're really shaping up now, boys. The team is looking good. What is this move? The user lets out a damaging belch at the target. It has a massive 120 power, but the user must eat a held berry to use the move and then the berry is gone. That seems so tedious. We've got shockwave, which never misses. We have charge, which boosts up the electric type moves. Also raises his special defense. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good for now. I'll teach him shockwave and get rid of nuzzle. What about Puff Puff? Cause that's a similar situation. He only evolves when we give him the apple. So he's got to have stuff that we haven't seen as well. Yeah, a ton of different things in here. Dragon Breath and Dragon Dance. Jesus Christ. I'm going to get Dragon Breath. Let's get rid of Withdraw. Acrobatics. If the user is not holding an item, this attack inflicts massive damage. Let's, uh, I'm going to try that one out. Puff Puff is getting big. Protect, pretty good move. Don't need it in solo play though, surely. Acrobatics is just gonna be a better wing attack because we're gonna remove his item. So I'm gonna get rid of wing attack and teach him Leech Seed. Epic, I am gaming. All right, let's go boys. Let's just get rid of his item and let's go. All right, what else does this town have to offer? Hello pedestrians, it is I, your king. Just passing through. Carry on your poor people activities. Whose house will I barge in today? How about this one? In we go. Hello, son. Would you like me to see if your Pokemon are feeling friendly toward you? Sure, boys. Tell me if Tyrone loves his father. Seems like you're pretty good friends. Okay, sweet. All right, she's giving me an item, a Soothe Bell, which will make me and my Pokemon bond better. I ain't trying to fuck my Pokemon. I ain't into that sick shit. I ain't using no Soothe Bell. What does this old woman want? Would you like to know if your Pokemon have really been giving their best effort? What does that mean? Puff Puff, have you been giving a good effort? Yeah, it looks like it 
can still give a bit more. Okay, very cryptic. Let me leave. I like the attention to detail with the little like cat flap or dog flap, pet flap, doggy door on the door there because they have a little turtle Pokemon. These people don't need anything. Let's continue on. This is a big ass town and now we have all the residential side over here. Okay, this woman doesn't do anything except hoard birds. Why, hello there, young man. Are you interested in weather? Yes, that sounds like the most boring question you could have asked. Oh, is that so? A weather enthusiast. Well then, let me get started. In the sunlight is a... Ah! He says, he says, okay, he's giving me an item. Okay? Yeah, don't care. Plus your mail. Let me leave. What's in this house? Man, the people of uh, this town are quite rich. Getting quite a lot of items and things out here. He doesn't do anything. He can suck my fruit. What's this guy got? He's got the evolved Rookie D. Nothing? You don't need nothing? What's going on here? Is this the station? Any gift shops in here? Oh! This is awesome! This looks like an airport or something. Oh, so this is the train station. All right. What do we got here? You're not doing anything. What do you want? You're not doing anything. What are you selling, big boy? Ah, the local Pokemart. Still garbage? What are you selling? Nothing. Okay, this is just a glorified mart. There's nothing going on here. Hello, can I get a big vat of soup? Nope, I, I can't. Oh, the trade is completed. I am pressing the Y button. Let's see what we got um, by throwing away another Yamper. All right, here it is. Flygon! Awesome! I have the superior version, Flygon. I have Flapple. Your yesterday's news, brother. The Mystic Pokemon. This Pokemon hides in the heart of sandstorms it creates and seldom appears where people can see it. Let's get some, um, here we go. Make sure you stay hydrated, kids. All right. I'm done browsing the train station. Let's bounce. Uh, we can't go this way. These guys are scaring off everybody. You're not even going to get to hold Marnie's hand, boys. I don't know why... You're trying so hard. Up here, we have a item. What is this item? We've got a strawberry seed. It seems like a strange thing to pick up off the ground. Uh, ooh, a special item over here. We've got a rare candy, okay. Now we, now that's an item. Here's a door we can't go in. This game sucks, zero out of 10. Here is an unaccompanied child. Oh, I don't think this child should be trusting strangers. <laughs> Hello there, you looks like someone I might trust. This is a good message to send to the world. I'm grooming a child now. What is happening? There's someone I fancy. I have written him a love letter. Do you think you might deliver it for me? Yes, okay, as long as they're not f a 40 year old man. All right, an old letter, sure. Deliver it to Frank. All right, I'll look for Frank. I don't think there's any children called Frank, so. I'm slightly concerned. We've got a pair of wise glasses. Slightly boost the power of special moves. We've got a door we can't go in. We've got another door we can't go in. I think we're exhausting all the exploration that we can do up here. There's a gate we can't go in. Let me in! Let me in! We're riding our bike. We're riding our bike. We're going past the, th the things. Okay, I'm heading down. What is happening? Hammerlock Stadium. I've got to meet the chairman at the Hammerlock Stadium. Okay, okay, here we go. This has got to be it, right? This gigantic castle that the queen lives in. Ooh, it's a lot going on. What's up, Mr. Chairman? How be it? Hammerlock Stadium doubles as an energy plant. Now have a look at my tablet. I don't think I will. I've got all the information you need on it. All right. The chairman is speaking a bunch of gobbledygook. Sorry, chairman, I don't speak Chinese. What is that? When did Pokemon develop this language? Is this new or have I missed something? Was this in Sun and Moon? Was this in Black and White? First, energy is absorbed from Hammerlock Stadium Tower. Then it's changed into electricity in the underground power plant and delivered to people throughout the region. Oh, his secretary is whispering something in his ear. You reckon he's sleeping with her? Oh, it's time for me to get to work. I should get a move on before Olina decides to give me another earful. Yeah, that's right. Just give her the old backhand, Mr. Rose. Speak speaking about her like that. Wet bread! I suggest you head over to the vault next. Just head toward Route 6 from the stadium and you should find the vault without any issues. Okay, boss. You got it, boss. I'm first gonna talk to all these people in here, like ball guy. Yeah, what's up, ball guy? What ball do you have to give me today? A level ball. A Pokeball that makes it easier to catch Pokemon that, that are at a lower level than your own Pokemon. Nice. Will you sell me more clothing? No, I don't need more clothes. Hello? 
Will you sell me balls? No. Oh, I don't need none. Hello, gossiping women. Ah, they've got a crush on Mr. Rose. Yes, he's such a gentleman when he walks around with his cock hanging out. There's a lift here. We can't go in. Uh, and I think that's it. I think we have to leave. There's not a lot going on. We're going to go ahead to the vault. Let's get another surprise trade going. Chuck a scraggy up there. Oh, Leon. What are you doing out here? Wet bread. Seems you're doing well collecting gym badges. But Hop, did something happen with him? Was he abducted by B D? B B B? Yes, he lost a battle to B D. Sorry, Leon, your brother is a useless waste of space. Bye, Leon. Does he? Does Leon have a job? He's not doing a whole lot of Pokemon training as the champion or anything. I guess he wouldn't have a whole lot of challenges. Can I verse this uh, guy again? Because I can verse once a day, right? Let's battle him again. Is he going to get stronger? Or is he going to have the same Pokemon? Surely he gets a little bit stronger each time. Reversing Bernard, I'm pretty sure. Yep, he's got the same two Pokemon. We might get another medium XP candy, which was pretty helpful. And I want to try out my boys. My boys are all grown up. We need to get a move that um, guarantees poison on someone so we can use Venoshock correctly because I thought Acid did, but I don't think it does. We'll just see how it does already because it's super effective. I really like Tyrone's adult design. It's good. Why? What? Okay. Never mind. These boys suck. I'm disowning them. It's getting one-shotted. Tyrone, do something. Jesus Christ, level 37s. Come in here for a coffee, Bernard. You're just gonna start skinning me? Come on, Craig, do your new move, Water Pledge. There we go. Sorry, I should be targeting one Pokemon. I don't know why I'm splitting up the damage. Go, Tyrone. There's Spark. Not a bad move. Dead. Bit of XP there. Level 32 for Tyrone. Good, good. Oh, here we go. Ask and dice shall receive, boys. I just got toxic. A move that leaves the target badly poisoned. Talk about a miracle. Wow. Okay. Awesome. Let's get rid of acid. Good boy, Tyrone. I'm going to feed you tonight. Fred's also leveling up. Fred might just randomly evolve as well before we switch him out. Tyrone's using Venoshock. It's super effective. All right, there we go, guys. That's gonna be some good XP. What? Come on. I'm gonna have to put Craig in the fucking box. Good work, Tyrone. Craig, you should start pulling your weight. Good XP again. Coleman leveling up. Bernard has been defeated. Here we go, here's a treat from Bernard. Flower sweet. I don't want that. <gasps> oh, I thought someone was evolving, but we're just getting our mystery trade. All right, we got a rookie D. Who put a rookie D in the trade system? Come on. That's that's so shit. So he's just given us something that we already have. We've got two flower sweets now, which just make his shitty milk Pokemon happy, I think. Hello? Can I come in, please? Is this guy dressed as a Magikarp? If isn't the trainer endorsed by the champion? Let's see, what was your name again? Yes, Wet Bread. Is, do you have wet bread on the guest list? Ah, right, yes, wet bread! And if Leon himself recognized your potential, then I guess you'll grow into quite the trainer. All the same, though, anyone wanting to challenge the mighty Rahan has to prove they're up to it by earning seven gym badges! Christ! Is this the dragon type? Oh, he is. He's the dragon gym leader, I think. I can see it on his shorts there. And that's what he's dressed as, not a magic up. I don't think. Imagine if there was a secret Magikarp gym leader. That would be sweet. Yes, I already know that. I'm just here to visit the vault. This guy loves to just m massage his ego. Yeah, I'm not here to see you, Rahan, cocksucker. Let me in. I like your spirit, kid. You can come in. All right, thanks, boss. Let's go into the vault. What are we playing, Fallout now? Oh my God, look at all these awards. I'll even spare you one of my league cards. Yes, thank you so much for sparing me your... Autograph, Rahan. You, you're so, oh, I'm so grateful. You're such a humble dude. Hey, there's the guy over there not wearing shoes. The one that I defeated that had a level two cottony or something. Put some shoes on. You're going to get splinters. Look at all these awards. Those are going to be mine one day when I make the Pokemon champion. Hello. We keep historical treasures in the vault. Okay, that is sweet. I like that. Yes, yeah, sorry. I was going in the vault. Wait, wait, what? That girl's up there too, you know, Miss Clever Clogs. 
That is not a human being's name. You are speaking straight gobbledygook. All right, I'm going in. Let's go to the vault. What's up here? I want to see the treasures. I'm down. You got any YouTuber subscriber plaques in here? I can see an item there that you've left out. Is this one of the treasures? Am I allowed to- am I stealing? Am I allowed to take this? Harshly lowers the target's attack stat. Yep, yep. All right, into the vault we go. Hello. Yes, this looks like such a good vault. What is- what do you got? Three paintings hanging in here? Oh, you're here. Brilliant. Aren't they? It's great that there are still treasured tapestries that can tell us of Galar's history. All right. Those guys look like they are being sacrificed to the Dynamax Pokemon for blood. The two youths watching a wishing star. A disaster occurs. The two bewildered youths, okay? The youths looking on at the sword and shield that stopped the disaster. Okay, we're getting some lore, some game specific lore. The youths being crowned. Wow, thank you so much, Sonya, for re for looking at the pictures and describing them. These tapestries tell the story of the creation of a kingdom in Galar. Say, young gym challenger, what sticks out to you most about them? Uh, there's two. <laughs> Ah, yes! Bang on! There is two people in the f pictures. Hmm. You are so smart, wet bread. All right, now she's giving me two revives. More junk that I'll never use. Epic. I'm so glad you've spent all the taxpayers' dollars holding these tapestries. Is there nothing else in here? What's the point of this? Stop beefing out the game! Let me get some poker battles going! I don't mind law sometimes when it's good law. All right. What's up, bro? I didn't steal any of the tapestries, I promise. My bag was already ginormous. Your goal is to defeat that superstar, Leon. So go conquer Route 6 and train yourself up along the way. All right, sweet. We're gonna have a bunch of battles along Route 6. Can we go on this bridge yet? Yes, we can. The, the Marnie slaves have left. This is going to be like the golden bridge or something in the other game, the old, old games. The one where you verse all the trainers. Nope, there's nothing here. There is a Pokemon, a snake. Wait, what? What is that? What a cute silicobra. Just look at those adorable eyes. See guys, the grunts aren't such big tough guys after all. There's a sweet soul deep down there somewhere. It's just, they're just, it's just, it's all an act. Oh wait, no, he's noticed me. It's our duty as Team Yell to make sure this snake gets a nice, Peaceful sleep! Can't argue with those motives, honestly. I'll let the little snake have a slap. He's an old woman. Hello there. If I promise not to wake that snake, can I please pass through here? No! We're gonna break your bones and watch the powder flow out! We're gonna take you back to the nursing home and feed your poison! Oh, please. I just want to pass through here. My grandson lives on the other end of town. No! This snake needs a good sleep! Can't you see that, you old coot? Oh, wait, never mind. I read that situation wrong. They let the woman through. Oh, Hop is here now. Awesome. Hey, guys. Why didn't you let that woman pass through to see her grandson? We don't like old people. Now we will fight you. Okay, let's do it. This is for grandma. I don't give a shit if that snake gets a good sleep. Let's try out our big boy. Unfortunately, I have quite low HP. So I'm just going to get off a toxic real quick if I can. Nope. Okay, never mind. Your skunk sucks. I don't think I can affect it with toxic, unfortunately. Here, have a shockwave. Ah, wow. Okay. Tyrone is huge! Craig is so close to evolving. All right, let me see if I can one-shot this thing as well. Nope, that's gonna kill me. See you, Tyrone. Oh, you've woken the coal train. You're in for some heat now. Yeah, that ain't gonna do nothing to a Pokemon built from coal. Plus, Coleman has a flame body. If you attack him, you can get burnt. Go, fossil attack. And he's going to just die from the burn, almost. Nope. All right. There we go. Suplex the sucker. Nicholas, stop wasting my experience points. Limey, even your battles are too noisy. Yeah, I don't know if that snake is getting any sleep. <gasps> he's evolving. He's evolving. Three evolutions in one episode. All the boys, they're all grown up. I'm seeing- Oh! He lost so much weight! He's so slender! Is that Nebs? I, lo I love that design. I love um, Sobble. I don't like Sizzile, but I love- What's his name? In Inteleon. 
So he's like a spy lizard. Very, very cool. I hate the rabbit. I hate all the rabbit's evolutions. I hate all Grookey's evolutions. Grookey itself, okay. Score Bunny itself, okay. Both their second and third stages look like fucking shit. Yeah, okay, see, right there. The secret agent Pokemon. It has many hidden capabilities, such as fingertips that can shoot water and a membrane on its back that it can use to glide through the air. So it's kind of almost flying type. It's got like a, like a weird cape. I didn't notice that before. That's really cool, actually. He's got some nice big um, secret agent gloves on. Look how girthy his fingers are. I'm sure the women are pleased. Craig, you know any ladies or you just been a slave in my party since birth? I might have to let Craig play the field, you know? Should an old move be forgotten because Craig wants to equip a sniper rifle? What? A sniper rifle in a Pokemon game? Oh no, the lizard has a gun. Yep, let's get rid of Water Pulse. Let's give him a gun. Lizard with a gun, lizard with a gun. I think I'll leave this to you, wet bread. Keep up the pace. Okay, Hop is just being destroyed ever, si ever since he lost that battle to BD. Now I've got to take them both on. Can you imagine if Hop just killed himself and you just didn't see him ever again? He just didn't stay your rival, he lost one battle and it just fucking broke him. This lady has only one Pokemon. Too bad it's it's a cat that's been run over by a steam train. Die! Alright. Fred? Is Fred gonna evolve? Or do I have to use it? Fred wants to learn self-destruct! I think that's what Hop is going to learn soon. Sorry. This is what you get for holding a, a snake above an old woman who just wanted to see her grandson. Great priorities. Yeah, you guys aren't exactly like advocating for anything here. And uh, what what steps are you taking to keep it asleep? Just having a loud battle right in front of it, forcefully. We didn't even want to battle you, bro. Jesus, get out of here. Okay, then they just, they don't even, I don't understand. They have brain damage. Something is going on in their brains that is causing just sporadic, random behavior. Wet bread! You and Toxtricity? Wow, okay, he's listing a different Pokemon that isn't the lizard. That's interesting. Yeah, he's pretty good. See, uh, BD really wiped the floor with me the last time we battled. And don't get me wrong, I can take a loss. Battling means you've got to lose sometimes. Yes, hop. Yes, it just means you're not cut out to be the champion of the Galar region. I'm sorry to break it to you, but I don't think a champion would have lost to BD. Alright. Okay, the snake is awake. Can I get the snake now? Does it want to come with me? Is it sick? Nope, it's slithering away. I'm going to chase it down and kill it for experience. You're one of the gym challenges endorsed by Leon, aren't you? Who's this? Oh, fuck! Christ! Jesus Christ! I told you that old woman. She's look. This is what's happened to her. Her back is all fucked up. This is this is a main character, of course. Probably also a gym leader. My name's Opal. If you want to know more, have a look at my league card. Yes, thank you for your business card. Why? How is a human being built like that? Look at this woman. She looks like a snake herself. I'll keep an eye on you, child. I want to see what you can do when you go all out. Oh my God. Look how slow she's walking. All right, let's continue. Finally, some trainer battles. Let's do one more surprise trade for the episode. Let's give away Rice Gum, the Chinese spy. I should probably go heal the boys. Craig evolved at level 35. Eh, I reckon we can just sweep it with Coleman. Yeah, what's up? How you doing, miss? My super cute Pokemon is interested in your Pokemon. Okay, you were challenged by Beauty Anita. All right, I'm gonna have to lay the smack down on that pink fucker. Oh, Metronome, that's one of my favorite moves. I used to love using that in just the old games because it can just do anything. You can just see some weird Pokemon doing some crazy shit. I remember uh, Snorlax could learn Metronome in Pokemon Stadium, at least, and you could see him actually fly. You would just see a Snorlax laying on its back just float into the air. Absolutely awesome. Wrap it up, Coleman. Finish it with a flame charge. Excellent. Got a bit of XP there. Tyrone is just getting none because he's dead. And she is sending out Clefable, the evolved version, where he just gets a little bit fatter and a little bit taller. Great design. What? It managed to do a water type move from Metronome. Really? Mm, I don't know if I believe that. All right. 
Oh my lord, look at the HP. Don't wave your finger in your my face, that is rude! Smart strike. Oh my god, it's got a- what is that? Let's get targeted by a sniper? It's just gonna die from the burn, but I'll waste another smackdown on it. Alright. Goodbye. Sorry, Anita. Oh! Oh! Your Pokemon are way too strong! You'll be safe no matter where you go! Shut the fuck up. Alright. We're gonna Maractus here. Have we caught a Maractus yet? No. Wait. Coleman. Come on, bro. Get it together. Oh, he's so gorgeous. He looks so good. Craig, you're looking good. You've shaped up to be a fine young man. All right, I'm just being sucked. I've just been killed by a wild Maractus. These, po these wild Pokemon are strong around. You know what? I'm just going to run. I need to run. I need to take my ass to the Pokemon Center. Oh, Rice Gum is being sent off to Virgil. See you, Rice Gum. We're getting a Swinub in return. Did we end up catching Pillow Swine? I can't remember. We've got a uh, Swinub now, though. The pig Pokemon. It rubs its snout on the ground to find and dig up food. It sometimes discovers hot springs. Epic. Look what they did to my boys. Look at my boys. They're all dead except the two I don't want. I gotta go to the Pokemon Center. I'll be right back. There we go. Now we're heading back. All right. What's in store for us now? Let's catch a new companion. No, I don't want Heliopal, Heliopal talk. Oh, Flapple, you look good. Whoa, that was creepy. All right, that's good HP. I've got to keep on the grind. I've got to make sure I catch a couple of Pokemon an episode to make sure the chore isn't too big at the end of the game. We're catching a couple. We're doing our surprise trades. We've got a fair few this episode, I think, with surprise trade. Tyrone's leveling up. The generator Pokemon. When spread, its asshole opens up and charges copious amounts of electricity. Wow, that's so epic. That's so, that's so, that's cool. That's so cool. I'm gonna call it Hemi. Bye bye Hemi. All right. What else we got? Ooh, ooh, Yan mask. What is this thing? Is that just hidden? Oh, it's a uh, Halucha, Halucha, the Mexican wrestler. Okay, he about to head out. He gone. Ooh, got a little secret path down here. Three Ultra Balls. Okay, I'm gonna save those for a rainy day. I guess let's get a Yan Mask. Oh wait, wait, what? That's a Galar form. That is not what Yan Mask looks like normally, is it? No, that's definitely Galarian. Okay, that's such a weird Pokemon to have a Galar, Galar form. What is that? It's got like a little brick. It's been walking in wet cement. Let's see this massive damage that, okay, not bad. Go, great ball. Galarian Yan Mask. Now I've seen everything. Got him. The spirit Pokemon. A clay slab with cursed engravings took possession of a Yan Mask. What is that law? What does that even mean? I am pretty much correct in when I said it just stepped in wet cement. It's basically saying a house brick, a cursed house brick, came in contact with a Yan mask, and now we've got a, a new one. Yep, you have Galarian Yan mask. There you go. I'm gonna call him Kurg with a lot of G's. It's going to the box. Hopefully, it doesn't curse my computer. Give me a virus or something. We've got, God damn it, so many wild. Oh, it's the snake, Silicobra. I'll take him. Is this the sleepy one? Has he eaten something? He's got something stuck in his throat. Ugh. Come on, bro. Ugh. Don't kill it. Ooh, perfect. We made some great additions to the Pokedex today, I reckon. There's another one, snake, lock it in. The sand snake Pokemon. As it digs, it swallows sand and stores it in its neck pouch. The pouch can hold more than 17 pounds of sand. Man, real gamers eat sand. He's eating sand. Yeah, I actually told uh, Susan Wojcicki to eat sand on Twitter not long ago. It is a female, I'm gonna call it Susan. Susan the sand eating CEO of YouTube. Yeah, fuck off Susan, sorry. Don't, please don't ban my channel. All right, we're gonna do at least one more battle and then 
I think I'm a head out. All right, what do they got? Pornyard and Togetic. Go, Puff Puff and Tyrone. All right, I'm gonna put Toxic on Pornyard. Nope, it doesn't affect him. I don't think it affects Steel type. He's just slit my neck with that knife. That Pokemon is just literally holding knives. All right, go, Spark. Yep, Togetic's gone. Super effective. Wait, super effective, what is he, normal type? Electric versus beat normal? All right, Fred and Nicholas leveling up. Just sucking up all the free XP. Don't even pay rent. Puff Puff is going to not do a lot of damage there. You'd think I had no types, but I don't. <laughs> Get him, Tyrone. Get him. All right, there we go. Maybe one more trainer battle and then we'll call it an episode. Let's see, Fred still leveling up. Is Fred going to evolve? I would love four Pokemon evolutions in one episode. That would be good. Nope, still not evolving. We've got a couple of ladders here. A little bit of confusion. Oh, there's all sorts of weird shit happening. All right, I'm trying to get through and there is a Doug Trio right there. I'm going to challenge this lady and that's gotta be it. We're challenged by Backpacker Diane. Go Sork! You reckon she fucks it? I reckon it fucks. Oh, it does that too. That's exactly what it does. Dragon Breath. It's wearing human's clothing. It's literally wearing people clothes. Or is it just, it just emulates that. Does it look like that? Or has someone just put a bunch of judo outfits on all the socks? Maybe they have massive blue cocks and people have just thought it was their duty to put clothes on them. Dragon Pulse. Please die, Sork. Nope. Go Super Potion. I'm an NPC. I use potions on my Pokemon during actual battle. Go Paralyze Heal. I'm an NPC who uses Paralyze Heal on my Pokemon during actual battle. Imagine getting double kicked in the head by that thing. And it, it, yeah, all right. I've been using potions and I'm just dead anyway. Come on. No! No! Puff Puff! All right, finish him off, Tyrone. Wow. All right. There we go, guys. That is going to do it for this episode. Look at all that XP. I'm going to see you guys next time when I finish climbing up this mountain. Oh, adios, adios.